What is up everyone, we are back with another tutorial and on this one I'm going to show you how to easily transfer your PS3 backup games um, whether it's ISO files or PKG files I'm going to show you how to do those both and this is actually the quickest way to do this rather than having to transfer it to a USB stick or a hard drive in the correct file format and then having to plug it in and then install each game from the hard drive so we'll mainly be transferring these files through FTP and if you don't know what that is basically that is uh, through your computer through file transfer so you need a network to be able to do this I'll be using the program called WinSCP uh, you can also use FileZilla but um, I find the WinSCP to be um, the fastest method of doing so and for this, you will need a soft modded PS3. I'm currently um, using PS3 Exploit Hen version 3.03. And this is running the latest system software, official firmware, which is 4.88 is the current system software. And let's just go back. I'll just show you these are all the games that I currently have on this PS3. So quite a few games just on the dashboard itself. And then we also have some of the ISOs which are hidden under the multi-man software which I'll show you in a sec so as you go down now we have like PS2 games and PS1 so let's go back up and if you have your uh, soft modded PS3 then you need to enable hen each time you load up your PS3 so let's go ahead and do that now so enabling hen will basically provide me a IP link and this IP link I'm going to need to use to transfer the files over the network so to easily find out what your IP address is from the main menu is hold down select it will tell you your IP address as well as your remain and hard drive space which is always handy and from this menu you can do several things change the fan speed disable a few things the main thing we're concerned is the IP address so we need to note that down so once you remember the IP address we need to head over to our PC all right so we are on the PC now and here are some links that you would need so this one here is multi-man uh, so this is what you would need to be able to play your ISOs um, basically mount all your ISOs and there's various other things you can do with this. You can have customized themes and stuff. It's a very useful tool to have. So uh, we want the latest version. So we're gonna click on this and this will download down here. It's a PKG file, so you're gonna have to install this on your PlayStation like it was a PS3 game. We'll also need WinSCP. Like I said, this is what I'll be using to transfer all of my games and then ps3 tools or ps3 iso tools this is to create iso files uh, so most of the links that you find when you search for ps3 games you find that they are just folders and files rather than compiled isos um, in some cases they are pkg files so this tool here is useful to basically create ISO files and, and this can also um, uh, force games to uh, play on older firmware or newer firmware. So let's go ahead and download this up here. So these are the main three things that you need. Let's go ahead and make a connection. So let's say you've installed WinSCP and we want to connect to our PS3. Uh, so first thing we want to click on where it says file protocol click on FTP and my host name is this so type in what your IP address is under the host name 
so this is mine, yours might be different. Port number is 21, I'm going to click on anonymous login and obviously you can save this and call it PS3 so then you don't have to keep typing this down. Um, click uh, login. All right, so now we're into the root of the PS3 and we want to get into the hard drive. So ignore all of these because this is just internal memory for the PS3. You want to click on HDD0. All right, so once you get to here, for your PKG files, you want to put it under packages. For your ISO files, you want to find PS3 ISO. Put your ISO files in here. And then for all the license files for your PKG um, games, you need to put it into xdata. And they're all RAP files, RAP files. And it's all case sensitive. Um, so that's the only difference between uh, PKG files, they need a corresponding license file, which is the wrap file, and you need to put it into here. So with ISO files, you don't need to do that. It's just with PKG files. I have a few files here, and this is just for demonstration. So once your PS3 ISO tools have downloaded, just extract this. Click OK. And we're just going to Double click on that, click on PS3 ISO tools.exe. Now we can create an ISO here. Um, so click create ISO, patch games to firmware 3.55 if needed. Leave that on. We can leave all of this unchecked and then basically leave everything default. Because we're FTP in this, we don't need to split the ISOs uh, into the sizes that will only fit for a FAT32 device. So we, actually, we don't actually need to do that, which is a good thing. Saves a lot of time. Um, so click continue. Gotta find our game quickly. So we've got a saw game. And this, you can see here, it's just the folder Full of like the game files and stuff and we're gonna convert this to ISO so click OK it's gonna go here doesn't take too long I mean this is only a 2 2.3 gig game connects off that here's our ISO and then basically go back and locate your PS3 ISO folder under the FTP. I think I've already got it here. And then basically just drag and drop this onto your PS3 hard drive. This process normally takes a little bit long. So I'm connected through the LAN cable rather than Wi-Fi. And typically, let's say a 10 gigabyte game would take around 20 minutes I'd say anything bigger would take longer um, this two this saw two game would probably take I don't know, we can see it won't take long so two gig game probably takes about a few minutes just under five minutes so that's the ISO uh, game transfer pretty easy if you do get any problems with the game folder then it could be that the folder itself is corrupt um, so you might be worth finding another source for that game um, okay so let's go ahead and transfer a pkg file so we have mutants in manhattan Tur uh, turtles game here we're gonna put the pkg file in our packages folder I think I already got it here. This is about five gigs. So all you have to do is find your PKG file. It's five gigs. Copy this over here. Let this um, transfer. If you are connected via Wi-Fi, then this could take three times as long. So just be aware of that. 
make sure you have a decent router, um, a decent connection, and um, transfer the games. You can drop like click multiple things and uh, send it over. So that just to make your make your life a bit easier. Right, so we need to transfer our license file. So we go into X data here and make sure it's a wrap file. And this is all case sensitive. So I've had issues where the dot wrap was in capitals. And if that's in capitals, then it won't work. We need to make sure this is lowercase wrap file. That's your license file for that game. You need that. Uh, in order to be, uh, to be able to play this else it will give you an error saying that you need to buy the game so make sure you have the wrap file, uh, file for your PKG file in some cases some PKG games do not need a wrap file I think the wrap file might, might be already packaged within the PKG file so I'm gonna this one here doesn't have a wrap file but I think you install the game twice. So you transfer it and then you have to load the game and then you got to install it in the game. I've already transferred that over. We need to transfer over the multi-man as well. So you need to install multi-man. Remember you need the multi-man to be able to um, see all your ISO games. And then with multi-man you can do a lot more other things as well. So this is everything that's been transfer transferred over. We don't need to mess around with the FTP now. So we can actually back out of this and go back onto a PS3. And just to let you know, it's actually taken a long time to transfer a lot of games because you have to install them one by one. So yeah, let's head over back to the PS3 and I'm going to show you how to um, find your ISOs and install your PKG files. Let's go ahead and find these games that we transferred over. So again, remember that uh, HEN has been enabled. Once that's been enabled, you can see the package manager and this webbound games folder. Within this webbound games, you can actually see, well, there's, there's SOAR 2 but not all of the ISOs are displayed here because I actually have more ISO games in here. But it's only displaying these two. Um, so this is actually a quick way just to mount a game. Once it's mounted, you'll be able to pick the game through here. So this is just for the ISO games. So let's click on this and then... This. So normally with this method, you have to mount the ISO and then it will install So that is one way of loading an ISO. Let's quickly back out of this. All right, let's install the multi-man. So under package manager, click on install package files then click on PS3 system storage. Here are our PKG files. Um, here's multi-man. I've already got this installed, but this is basically um, what you need to find all your other ISOs. So install that. Then we have our PKG Turtles game. So let's install this as well. So now we just have to leave it until it's done. This is probably the, um, the thing that takes the longest to do is installing the, the PKG files from the internal PS3 memory. Because you can't um, make a queue list, you have to install these one by one. And obviously, the bigger the game, the longer it will take. This should only take like 10 minutes, I'd say, for a 5 gig game. 
maybe a bit more than that. So I'm going to leave this to install and we can check to see if it works. Here's the game. Now I'm just going to quickly uh, install this other PKG file which doesn't have a license file requ uh, needed which is the first saw game let's go ahead and just quickly install this right so saw doesn't need a, a license file to run like I said, some PKG files, you don't need the license file or the wrap file, but some you do. So just be aware of that if um, some of these PKG files that you downloaded don't work. Normally the ones that um, don't require a PKG file will requ require you to install it within the PKG file. Oh. oh, that seems to work, so that's good. The last thing I want to show you guys is Multi Man. So, let's say you've installed Multi Man, we want to scroll all the way down. And then it should look like something like this. Click X on that. As you can see here, um, there's a lot more options that you can tinker with with Multi Man. So if you can have like completely change the themes, add music to the background, tons of options that you can mess around with. Retro Arch PS2 Classics placeholder. Um, but for what we need is to look at our ISO games, which are here. So, like I said before, for some reason, not all of these show up on the main um, PS3 system menu, but under Multi Man, there's no problem finding these games. So. With this, if you click on a game, let's say I want to play Street Fighter X Tekken, verifies it and then it mounts it onto the PS3 system menu. From there we can launch the game. So there you go guys, um, that is pretty much it, and that's how you transfer your PKG game files or ISO files onto your PS3 using FTP. hope this tutorial has been useful, if you do have any questions then please comment on the section below. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you again.